Okay, so one final thing to mention about the function of CFTR is that um, in lots of other, or in lots of cases of cystic fibrosis, it is not the delta F508 mutation that has occurred in the uh, CFTR protein, and it's some other mutation. Now, in these other mutations, um, uh, recall that in the delta F508 mutation. Um, you, um, what happened is that you deleted a single uh, amino acid from the polypeptide and you deleted a phenylalanine uh, from position 508, which is why it's called delta for deletion, F for phenylalanine, and then uh, 508 uh, for the position of the uh, phenylalanine residue that you've actually deleted. Um, and, in, and that causes the um, cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator to fold oddly. And then what happens is that the, uh, the quality control mechanisms in the endoplasmic reticulum notice this. And they don't allow this misfolded CFTR to leave the endoplasmic reticulum. Instead, what they do is they uh, target it for degradation and it gets uh, destroyed by the proteasome. So you get very, very little uh, of this... Um, uh, delta F508 CFTR getting uh, to the apical membrane of the cell. Okay, however, in other mutations of CF, um, of, of cystic fibrosis, um, what you find is that that doesn't happen, and the cystic fibrosis um, transmembrane conductance regulator does get to the apical membrane fine, uh, but that the mutation impairs its function. And basically what you find is that some of these cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulators which have impaired function and these you know these people with them uh, do indeed have cystic fibrosis but when you look at them they're actually functioning fine with respect to pump removing chloride uh, from the cell which was thought to be the major thing that uh, the major function of CFTR. However, uh, the new hypothesis uh, is that it, CFTR has another really important ion which it moves, which is the bicarbonate ion. So I'll draw that in now. So this is another really important function of CFTR, which is that the bicarbonate ion can go through CFTR. Okay, and this bicarbonate ion is supposed is uh, thought to also control hugely uh, the consistency of the mucus produced uh, uh, by the epithelium, uh, and uh, if if bicarbonate secretion is impaired, uh, then uh, the uh, quality of the mucus that you're producing is also uh, reduced, basically, and that leads to cystic fibrosis. And uh, this is specifically very, very important in the, in the gut. Uh, that, the, that you're excreting bicarbonate, and chloride is not very important in the gut. In fact, what you have in the gut is another protein, and where shall I draw this on? Um, where can I squash it in? We'll put it up here. You have another protein called the chloride uh, bicarbonate antiporter, which basically takes a chloride into the cell and then secretes and then removes the bicarbonate. So basically it swaps the chloride for the bicarbonate. So the CFTR protein allows chloride and bicarbonate to leave the cell. And then the chloride is being returned into the cell in return for a bicarbonate out. So that hap is happening in the gut where a huge amount of mucus is being produced in order to lubricate uh, lubricate the, um, the walls of the gut and allow the food um, boluses to um, be um, to you know be moved on. Okay, so uh, mucus is very important for that, and in the gut, it's been found that the chloride is actually not very important in the formation of that um, uh, the right of mucus of the right consistency, and it appears to be the bicarbonate which controls um, the consistency of the mucus far more than the chloride, and indeed chloride uh, is just used here to. Um, to, uh, in order for the chloride bicarbonate antiporter, and I just want to write that down there. So this is a uh, chloride uh, bicarbonate antiporter. Antiporter. Um, in order for this chloride um, bicarbonate antiporter uh, to exchange the chloride for the bicarbonate. Uh, so bicarbonate and uh, CFTR is another vast area of research because it's not fully understood yet how important this is going to be.